currently 27 out of every 50 American adults drink coffee every day. In a town with a population of 7,900 adults, how many of these adults would you expect to drink coffee every day? Now let's set up a proportion, and remember the proportions I'll be setting up have the same values in the numerators of the rates and the same values in the denominators of the rates. And when I say values, I really should say units. So same units in the numerators, same units in the denominator. So currently, 27 out of every 50 American adults drink coffee every day. That is a rate given to us. And then in a town with a population of 7,900 adults, how many would you expect to drink coffee every day? Our first rate I wrote down, 27 drink coffee out of 50 adults. Then remember, we're told we have a town with 7,900 adults. So where should that go on the right side of my proportion? If I'm keeping units the same in the numerators and in the denominators, then 7,900 adults will go in the right side denominator, and we want to know how many drink coffee. So I'll let that be in drink coffee. We have our proportion set up. Let's now solve this proportion for n. We'll first set cross products equal, and I'll be dealing with the numbers only here. So this cross product is 27 times 7,900 is equal to this cross product is 50 times n. Now, I'll let you multiply 27 times 7,900. If you do so, you'll have 213,300 is equal to 50 times n. And then don't forget, n is equal to this number, 213,300, divided by the number that was multiplied by n, which is 50. So what is n? Divide 50 into 213,300, and you'll find that n is 4,266. Now what does that stand for? That's how many adults we expect to drink coffee in a town of 7,900 adults.